players send soccer balls going, going, gone in this game we call the boulder. Set up a tee at home plate, but instead of placing a baseball or softball on it, use a soccer or volleyball. To start, choose a few hitters and send everyone else into the field. Here's how it looks. The first batter gets into a strong balanced stance. On your call, ready, go. They swing and hit the ball. The fielders retrieve it and throw it back to you to reset it on the tee. Good job. After four swings, the next batter rotates in. Next, come on up, go. Oh. Challenge players to crush as many clean hits as they can in each at bat. Get the infield involved in the competition and give them one point for every ball they catch. Whoever has the highest score once everyone's had a turn at bat wins the round. Swinging at a heavier target forces hitters to focus on their follow through, finishing with the bat even at their shoulders. In the actual game, this can turn base knocks into two baggers and two baggers into big flies. That's how you drive the ball. Good job, good job. All right. Batters turn ground balls and pop-ups into line drives in this game we call Tea Time. Divide the group into pairs lined up outside the batting cage. Within each pair, name a hitter and a feeder. The first team steps up to the tee in the cage with their helmets on. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. After the feeder places a ball on the tee and steps away, the hitter takes a controlled level swing hitting a line drive right through the box. Atta boy. After each swing, the feeder places another ball on the tee, always making sure to stay a safe distance away when the hitter is up to bat. Boom, I'll take that. Anything on the ground, on the line. When the bucket is empty, both players retrieve all the balls before switching positions. More experienced players might ask why they're not facing live pitching. Remind them that even major leaguers make time for some tee work. Work on your balance, on your finish. Right there. It's the best way to refine their swing without the pressure of pitch recognition and selection. They can focus on proper form and swing away. That a boy, nice swing right there. Very nice, good finish. Hitters should be feeling good after a few rounds of this game we call kneeling good. Line up your team in foul territory. You set up four feet to the side of the plate with a bucket of balls. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. Here's how it looks. The first player in line steps in the box with a bat and helmet. Instead of taking their regular stance, they drop their back knee to the ground, extending their front leg for balance. You soft toss a pitch to the batter who has to swing and make contact while on one knee. Play three rounds, focusing on a different hitting mechanic in each. In the first round, They'll only use their bottom hand, leading with their elbow prior to swinging. In the second round, they'll only use their top hand, placing a strong emphasis on the follow through. In the third round, they'll use both hands and swing away. Challenge them to make contact three times in each position before moving on to the next round. Side toss hitting is a great way for players to transition from hitting off a tee to hitting a moving target. It also helps more advanced players focus on specific parts of their swing. Remind players that not even the great Bambino swung for the fences on every pitch. Sometimes a single or even a simple ground out can get the job done. Good job, buddy, good job, good job. Players dial in on their hitting mechanics in this game we call soft toss slugging. Soft toss hitting is a great way for players to transition from hitting off a tee to hitting a moving target. It also helps more advanced players focus on specific parts of their swing. You set up four feet to the side of the plate with a bucket of balls. Whether you're playing with softballs or baseballs, this game is the same. Here's how it looks. The first player in line steps into the box and gets into a strong, balanced batting stance. You soft toss pitches to the hitter who takes smooth, quality swings. After 10 swings, rotate hitters. All right, next. Here we go, Julia. Here we go, hands up. Ask players to keep track of how many solid hits they can make in a row. Then challenge them to beat their streak next time. Remind players not to pull their head out early. All right, so listen, what happened, okay? The ball's here, you kind of turn your head a little bit. I want you to see the ball, keep my head here, and stay my hands through the ball. Holding their head still will allow them to keep their eye on the ball longer. 
resulting in more contact and better luck at the plate. Good job, good job. Batters work on hitting for contact in this classic game called Pepper. You got spread out a little bit, so you're ready to feel the ball. Divide the team into groups of four to five players each. In each group, one player is the hitter, and the others are fielders spread equally apart 10 feet in front of the batter. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. On your call, one of the fielders tosses an underhanded pitch to the batter using a foam ball. They try to hit a grounder to one of their teammates who fields it and tosses it right back. If they hit a fly ball that lands in a fielder's glove, the player who caught it rotates in for the next at-bat. The guy who caught it, he's up, he's hitting. If the batter swings and misses or hits a home run over everyone's heads, they're out and swap roles with a fielder. Play short rounds about two minutes long. Whoever lasts the longest at the plate wins. Remind players that this game is about hitting for contact, not power. After all, not every at-bat calls for a grand slam. Oh, home run, next hitter. Encourage hitters to choke up for more bat control. In the actual game, that could be the difference between fouling off a tough pitch and whiffing at it. One, two, three. My Hitters develop patience and timing in this game we call bounce ball. You guys that are hitting, one, two, three, four, five, everybody else in the field. To start, choose a few hitters and send everyone else into the field. You stand between home plate and the mound with a bucket of foam balls. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. Let's go. Everybody ready? The first player in line steps to the plate and gets in their batting stance. You pitch to them by bouncing a ball that lands about two feet from home, bouncing over the plate at hip level. Give everyone 10 tries at bat. Ask them to keep track of their hits, then challenge them to get even more next time. Bouncing the ball gives hitters lots of time to prepare Woo! to swing, emphasizing the importance of nice. patience at the plate. Remind hitters to keep their weight on their back foot for as long as possible before swinging. That's the best way to quickly adjust from hitting a fastball to a changeup in the actual game. After all, when you're waiting for the express, it's hard to hit the local. Go, 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 go. One, two, three. Oh, yeah! Hitters practice small ball accuracy in this game we call Ready, Aim, Bunt. Use cones to create two five by five foot squares down the first and third baselines. They should begin five feet from home and extend another five into fair territory. One player at a time steps to the plate with a bat and helmet. You set up about 15 feet from home with a bucket of balls. Whether you're playing baseball or softball, the game is the same. Here's how it looks. Still coming towards me, you gotta stay back. You toss a pitch to the hitter who bunts the ball using proper form. Feet square to the pitcher with the bat's head above the handle. They try to aim their bunt towards one of the squares. Give each hitter a few turns at bat and ask them to keep track of how many balls land on target. Oh boy, nice. That's one right there. Then challenge them to get even more next time. In the actual game, players might need to bunt in order to move a runner over and advance a base. But with enough practice, it can also be a great way to get a hit and spark a rally against even the toughest of pitchers. Double the T's means double the fun in this game we call Inside Outside. Line your hitters up in foul territory and place two tees at home. One in front of the inside of the plate, raised to the hitter's hip. Another on the outside corner of the plate, raised to the hitter's thigh. You stand off to the side with a bucket of balls. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. On your call, the hitter swings at the ball on the inside tee, aiming to pull it between second and third base. Inside. Go better. After six tries, they swing at the ball on the outside tee, trying to send it between first and second base. Outside. Very nice. Give players a point every time they send the ball on target. Then challenge them to improve their directional hitting in the next round. Pull your hands inside. I'm staying there. Uh, I'm through that ball. Remind players that even though the tees are in two different areas of the strike zone, the goal for both is the same to stay inside the ball and hit a line drive without pulling it too far in either direction. Just like that. Batting practice reaches a fever pitch in this game we call Think Fast. Line up your team in foul territory. 
the first player steps up to the plate with a bat. You set up four feet to the side of home plate with a bucket of two different colored plastic balls. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. Soft toss two different colored balls at the same time towards the player. While they're in the air, call out one of the colors. White. The batter will already be in motion and must adjust to hit the correct one. They get a point for every successful hit. After five swings, they move to the back of the line. Whoever has the most points once everyone's gotten a turn wins the round. Pitch recognition is vital when it comes to success at the plate. Yellow. <laughs> Knowing what pitches not to swing at is just as important. Think Fast helps prepare players to make split decisions on game day. White. Nice. Players work together to hit frozen ropes in this game we call Line Drive Derby. Set up two tees 10 feet apart in the batting cage. Divide your team into pairs and choose a hitter and a feeder within each one. Two pairs at a time step into the cage, both wearing helmets. The feeders kneel next to a bucket of balls and the hitters get in their batting stance, facing away from each other. Whether you're playing softball or baseball, the game is the same. On your call, the feeders place balls on the tees and the hitters swing, trying to rope a line drive straight to the back of the cage. The feeders immediately replace the ball and, only when it's safe, the hitters swing again. The feeder also keeps track of the number of line drives the batter hits. Got 20 seconds. After a minute, the pairs switch so both players have a chance to hit. Whichever pair has the most line drives after two minutes wins. Then, rotate so every pair has a chance to compete. Hitters may start rushing once their competitive juices begin to flow. Remind them that a faster bat doesn't necessarily mean a better hit. The best way to ensure solid contact is always a level swing that is compact and in control, like this. Whoa, yeah!